<laughs> moving right along. In the state of gaming, we're kicking off this episode, I think, with two kind of, two kind of big hitters for me. Um, a lot of the games that are being released, or at least that are marked for release uh, in February, are kind of happening towards the end of the month. So that are like the big heavy hitters. Uh, but the beginning, there's kind of this, these uh, things that have been ported over uh, or things that are like are getting released on like other consoles, maybe like six years after they were originally released on something else. Um, but this one, we at least get the Waylanders. Looks pretty freaking fun. Um, I'm actually kind of excited about it, mainly because it's, it's on PC. But actually, it's on Steam. You can buy it. Um, it looks fun. Uh, it's just to read the synopsis, I, I, I like the idea that they played with here. Uh, it's set in the mythological kingdom of Caltia, which is based on Galicia, mixing Galician and Celtic mythology. So Galician makes me think of it's Gaelic, right? So it's all based off of that old yeah. uh, Celtic Gaelic mythology. Uh, the game puts the, the player in the role of a warrior, guardian, explorer, mage, healer, or rogue, coming from human, moro, fomorian, or werewolf background. You know where I'm going. Werewolf. All day. I would love to see a werewolf healer. That would just look ridiculous. Um, you could play Cleric Warden in World of Warcraft. That's true. I think so. If I played World of Warcraft anymore. There was no Cleric in World of Warcraft. Priest. Priest. You could play Priest. Oh. And, uh, Mike is probably rolling over right now. Like, <laughs> Get it right, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's the class that made you quit the game to begin with. You bitches, bitch. <laughs> In addition to choosing the character's class and race, players can mark their origin by choosing from a, a Celtic soldier, Celtic druid, Egyptian, a Mor Moray. I'm I'm definitely screwing up that word. It looks like more. Okay. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with more. More diplomat, more protector, Ares hound, mercenary, alpha wolf, and slave. Throughout the game, players encounter various companions who play major roles in the game's plot and gameplay. It reminds me of like. Uh, how do I put that? Like a kind of like World of Warcraft, but a little bit more, I guess, with the characters a little bit more detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to hearing a little bit more about it. Obviously, I'm waiting for my Steam Deck to come out, and then I'll play it then. You know what I mean? But uh, Hell yeah. for now, I'm just going to have to be envious and watch a little bit of the reviews online. Um, next up, though, I have watched the game. Not only did I watch the gameplay footage for this, it got me super hyped. I put it on, and even Michelle was like, is that Rosario Dawson? I'm like, yeah, I've seen her twice this week. She plays a, a three model. It, it's her voice. It's her 3D face in Dying Light 2, Stay Human, uh, which is set 15 years after the zombie outbreak in Haran. Protagonist Aiden Caldwell ventures into Villador, which is Villador. We need more, we need more names of cities that end in door, you know? Yeah. Gondor. Gondor. <laughs> I was trying. What, Mord, Mordor, Mordor? Mordor. Yeah. We need, we need to hold the door. Hold door. Yeah, hold the, hold the door. Hold the door. Yeah. Uh, the last standing city on Earth as he embarks on a journey to search for his lost sister, Mia. In his journey, he, he would encounter different warring factions who battle for control of the city. I started giggling because... Mia always in my brain goes to Fast and Furious, and I just imagine what this whole game would be like if it was just Dominic Toretto looking for yep. Mia, <laughs> just saying things about family every 15 minutes, but you would just hear Vin, Vin Diesel's <laughs> voice throughout the entire game. That would be magical. Uh, but the, the graphics look insane. Um, I'm really hoping I can do any kind of ray tracing on the Steam Deck when it does come out, or at least on Xbox Series 1. I'll be able to play this tomorrow. Uh, so it comes out tomorrow. Some of us will be working tomorrow. Some of us have the day off for, for reasons. So hopefully you enjoy. Some of us are driving to hate another city. Oh, okay. 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 Um, so Dying Light. I have the first one. I installed the first one a few times. I don't think I ever booted it up. <laughs> Is this another it one of the... It looks uh, cool. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I'm gonna the, play it for the five Dombers, hours. And yeah, then... yeah, pretty much. I don't even play. I didn't even play it for five hours. The trailer for the first one was sweet because it had a Woodkid song, and that's typically how you grab me. Uh, like if you just put Woodkid in it, because it like came like that trailer came out a couple years after like we were all listening to Iron like on repeat at work. Mm -hmm. um, the, here's the thing that like Dying Light Two has been marketed as that has completely turned me off for the game. And that is like, 
it's going to take 500 hours to beat. Bitch, I played Destiny 2 for about double that over three years. What makes you think that I'm going to play Dying Light 2 for 500 hours? 500 I could barely get hours? through 50 hours of Assassin's Creed Valhalla before I was like, this is just too long. Dude, somebody's going like, to come I, out and be like, I beat it in nine hours. 500 hours is bullshit. You don't have to do any of these side missions. I'm just tired of this market. Like, in, like the mar It's not just Dying Light that does it. Dying Light is kind of like the, the last one. It's kind of the most egregious one right now. But games keep marketing themselves as like, It'll take 300 hours to beat, 250 hours to beat. Like, I don't want that shit. Like, God of War for PS4. If you just blaze through the story, it's like 24 hours. That's the sweet spot. Hmm. Like I said, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I have like 52 hours in that game. And I'm like, I was getting the fatigue at the end of it where I was just <laughs> like, I'm done. Like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Um, where I'd play it for like five minutes and be like, I'm fucking bored. Um, is it because you feel if, like you don't progressing through the storyline fast enough, or that you're right, not hitting you get enough epics along the way? Cool at the end of the, the fucking way? game. Yeah, I hate like, that. I fucking hate that. And that's the thing. Like, I saw someone's review about Dying Light Two, and they were like, "I'm 14 hours into it, and I I don't feel like I'm getting any stronger or anything." And then, like, the first comment is some person that's like, oh, man, 13 hours into it, you're not even in the, like, first part of the game. You got to be, like, 30 or 40 hours into it. I'm like, by 30 or 40 hours, I'm fucking done. Let's be honest. Like, we're probably going to all get this and, like, be done with it by Saturday. Like, yeah, we're yeah. But I'll try. <laughs> it's going to be the same thing with Elden Ring. Like, I hope Elden Ring is not, like, this where it's, like, 500 hours to be. I think I read a number about Elden Ring where it was, like, 30 or 40 hours if you just play the story, which I'm, like... All right, like that's, that's about pushing right. it. Yeah, but like I'm, I, I will, I'll probably end up giving that a legit shot. That's like um, that's like a full month, maybe a little extra of like nights and weekends casual play. Right. Like that's that's really kind of the the sweet spot for me. If I can be like, oh, in February or, or in March, I played X. That feels about right. It's, it's about the same amount of time it takes me, like a fifth grade slow learner, to read a book. Like I'm not gonna sit there and like crush it. I'll, I'll take my time. I'll. Because I'm a slow yeah. reader anyway, so I'm just going to be like... And plus, I daydream. I don't know if you do this, where you like get through 10 pages, and you're like, I have no idea what just happened. And you got to go back 10 pages, like, shit. Yep. It's taken me, like, three weeks to read the fourth Percy Jackson book because of that. Oh, where I just like... I'm like, what the fuck did I just listen to? Like, <laughs> I'm like, what you, is man, going I was, on? I was tempted to read them when you said you were reading them, and then, like, two minutes later, they were like, oh, releasing on Disney+. Plus. I'm like, guess what? <laughs> just watch, watch the TV show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they Each heard season's the book, so which is awesome. And they're doing the Kane Chronicles on Netflix, which is the Egyptian version oh, that's cool. by Rick Riordan. Like, I found out there's an Egyptian version. There's Magnus Chase, which is uh, Asgard, mm. which uh, Magnus Chase is like Annabeth Chase's cousin, I think, um, who's the daughter of Athena and Percy Jackson. Like, yeah. it's pretty cool. Like, there, and then there's a, a Roman god one. Which they're kind of alluding to in the fourth book, too. So Right, because they're Greek gods. I was like, yeah, because they're Greek gods. Right, and I'm right. like, I thought Greek gods and Roman gods were the same, but apparently they're not. Kind of? They have different names? Yeah, Did Jupiter, Zeus, Helios is a pot. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean. Um, but yeah, like, I just, I want shorter linear games. Like, me and Mike were talking about this for, for hours the other day. Like, I am fucking tired of open world games. I want to play Pokemon Legends of Arceus because the mechanics look really cool. And, like, I'm really excited about it. But it's all open world, and I'm just bored. Let me ask it. you a dangerous question. Is it because of the amount of time it takes to get from one place to another? A hundred percent. It's also the getting lost. Yeah, that's definitely... Like, if they don't put a fucking marker up, and, like, there's no <sighs> direct path to where you got to get to, like, that, that happens all the time in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where you're like, all right, I got to go 800 fucking miles this way. But there's four mountains in the middle of the way, so oh, I gotta good. go all the way around everything. Like when you just, just put, you like tape your controller in a direction, you just lay it down and walk away. Right. Like hopefully, I'll give get me, there. give me Devil May Cry, which is linear. <laughs> Bayonetta, which is linear. I mean, shit. Even the first couple of Assassin's Creeds were kind of open world, but yeah. they were small. Right. Um, all in a city, more or less. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely agree with you, man. It's, it's the reason I, I used to get so annoyed at like the first 
like patch from World of Warcraft. When no matter what your the new expansion comes out, you're in a new area and no, there's no way you can use a mount. I'm like, dude, I get it. You don't want me to fly around, but at least oh, dude, you know, let me get. That's why I come at the faster. end of the fucking expansion because I'll just pay to fucking boost everything up, <laughs> and then I'll and just raid and play yeah. dungeons. And like, I don't, I don't fucking do any of that. Yeah, I played through the campaign at Shadowlands, and I was like, this is fucking boring. Dude, it sucks. It's, it's the so number one reason boring. That Michelle drops off and I drop off because we're like, God, I hate. Even though I'm on a mount and I'm moving 120% faster, it feels like I'm still walking in slow motion. It's the mm-hmm. worst. Um, so, on that note, hopefully Dying Light. Well, since Dying Light kind of takes place, it feels linear, right? It's it's in that town of, of Valador, whatever it's called. Vol, Vol- yeah. Valador. Um, yes, Villador. But hopefully that gives it some quick pace. I'm definitely interested to see how the zombies play out a little bit more. Uh, obviously, we, I put the, the picture up in the slide here. Is that creepy-looking, glowing abomination thing uh, with yep. this, like weird petrified spider arms coming out of its back? But should be fun either way. At least for <laughs> at least for the uh, the dumb five hours, I think. 